Welcome everyone, I am Amar and in this video, I am going to present 10 important questions on forensic toxicology and this is the part 5 of the series and the topic that I am going to cover is the organic corrosive poison. So without any further delay, let's move to the question number 1. Question number 1 says, how is oxalic acid is used in the process of document forgery? So what is oxalic acid? Oxalic acid and organic acid and it is usually colorless. It is colorless and have a prismatic crystal prismatic crystals and uh, it resembles the MgSO4 magnesium sulfate. Apart from this, oxalic acid present naturally in dark leaves, in dark leaves plants such as spinach or parsley. And one of the most common use of oxalic acid is used as bleaching agent. It is used as bleaching agent in textiles. And because of the bleaching effect, it is used as a chemical eraser. It is used as chemical eraser to dissolve the certain types of inks. So it dissolves the ink on the paper without damaging the paper substrate. So in document forgery, it is basically used as a chemical eraser to remove the ink. And one of the common example is a forger uh, remove use the oxalic acid to erase the amount on a check and then he write the new one. So now check the options and option one says as an ink enhancer to make writing visible this is wrong because it dilute the or uh, bleach the ink present on the paper moving to the option second to remove the signature writing from the document so this is the correct answer option second is the correct answer for question one now let's move to the question number second the vomit resembles in the case of fulminate poisoning due to the oxalic acid so what is fulminate poisoning fulminate poisonings are the sudden are the sudden and serve poison which usually uh, leads to death so the question asked what is the color of the vomit in case of fulminate poisoning due to the oxalic acid and the color in this case is coffee ground color coffee ground color and this coffee ground color is because of the oxalic acid that cause bleeding that cause bleeding to GIT, GIT gastrointestinal tract, so it causes bleeding, and when it bleeds, then the bleeding uh, partially get digested by the stomach, partially digested by the stomach. So this turns the red color of the blood into the coffee ground color, coffee ground color, and as the blood ages in the stomach or partially digested then the coffee color gets turned into the black color which is not that usual or not that common but the coffee ground color and black is a sign of serious internal bleeding so in case of fulminant poisoning due to oxalic acid it usually leads to death and the minimum dosage uh, of the oxalic acid is more than 50 gram 15 gram that is the minimum dosage of oxalic acid that will cause fulminant poisoning now let's check the options first says uh, clear liquid with undigested food. This is wrong. Option second, bright red and faulty. This is also wrong. Moving to the option third, coffee ground appearance and black. So option third is the correct answer. Coffee ground appearance and black. Now let's move to the question number three. The question number three says the primary cause of symptoms in acute poisoning in oxalic acid is. And here are the options. So option first says hyperglycema. So hyper, hyper means high. And glycema means level of glucose. So high glucose, which means diabetes. So hyperglycema means the diabetic condition of a body, uh, which includes both types of diabetes. That is type one, type one diabetes in which the body uh, do not produce enough insulin. And in case of type two, and in case of type two, Type 2, body able to produce insulin, but they can't use that insulin. Or you can say body cannot effectively use insulin that is produced by the body. So both the cases or both types of diabetes are included in hyperglycema. So hyperglycema is not the correct answer for oxalic acid. So let's move to the option second, that is hyperthermia. So with again, hyper means high and thermia means body temperature. So hyperthermia means high body temperature, uh, which usually not included fever because fever is a 
byproduct or the response of a body due to infection. But in case of hyperthermia, it is due to the uh, failure of the body's heat regulation system. So it is due to the failure of body's regulation system. And it is the most common in the case of heat stroke. And it is generally external. So this is also the incorrect answer because hyperthermia is generally external. And one of the common example is due to the heat stroke. Now let's move to the option third that is hypocalcema. So hypocalcema means hypo means low and calcema means calcium. So hypocalcema uh, characterize the low levels of calcium. Low levels of calcium. So in case of oxalic acid, hyper hypocalcema is seen and it leads to more complete and it leads to the more complication to the body. Uh, for example, the most common one is the tingling. Tingling sensation in the hands or fingers. And second is wind sign. Wind sign, which is majorly uh, due to the hyper hyper irritability irritability of peripheral nerves. So uh, oxalic acid has a characteristics of the wind sign and tingling of the nerves. And this means oxalic acid shows hypo, hypocalcema. So option third will be the correct answer. Apart from this, option four, hypertension. Hypertension means high blood pressure. Now let's move to the question number four. Question number four says, following are the primary effects of oxalic acid on humans. Option A, act as nutrition supplement enhancing the calcium absorption. I already told you, oxalic acid is associated with hypocalcium. It means it reduces the calcium in the blood. So first option can't be correct. Now let's move to the B option. Locally corrosive to the skin and mucosa. Mucosa means the inner lining inner lining so it may be the inner lining of the stomach or the mouth so mucosa means inner lining so it can cause irritability and corrosiveness to the skin so option b is the correct option moving to the c part induce cvs means cardiovascular system shock leading to potential death it is also correct it leads to the cardiovascular system shock and which leads to potential death so option c is also correct moving to the d part causes hypocalcema. I already told you in the previous question that uh, uh, oxalic acid causes hypocalcema uh, by extracting the tissue calcium. So it is also the correct option. So D is also correct. Moving to the D part. Moving to the E part leads to the renal system failure and urinema and it is also correct because it also causes tubular necrosis. So oxalic acid also called tuber necrosis, which is the kidney function system and which further leads to the renal failure and which potentially leads to death. So option A is also correct. So the correct option for this question is option B, option C, option D and option E. Now let's check the option. So option B, C, D and E. Option 4 is the correct answer. Now let's move to the question number 5. It says what is used in gastric lavage to treat the oxalic poisoning? So gastric lavage, so gastric lavage is also called stomach pumping. Stomach pumping or irrigation. So it is a process of removal toxins from the stomach using a special tube. So the question is asking what is the chemical or the chemical fluid used in gastric lavage to treat oxalic poisoning? So now let's check the option first. First is baking soda solution, second is calcium lactate, third is acetic acid, and option four is pure water. And the correct answer for this question is option second, calcium lactate. And in the process of gastric lavage, uh, in case of oxalic acid, the two tablespoon, tablespoon, and what does the calcium lactate do? That it reacts with oxalic acid, oxalic acid, which transforms into calcium calcium oxalate and this calcium oxalate is usually insoluble is usually insoluble which can safely eliminate it from the body 
and thus it reduces reduces the absorption the absorption of oxalic acid so how do calcium lactate decreases the oxalic acid absorption in git by converting it into the calcium oxalate which is which is insoluble and get eliminated from the body through urination and through feces now let's move to the question number 6 the purpose of using parathroid extracts in oxalic poisoning treatment so what are the parathroid extracts so parathroid extracts are used are uh, to treat or uh, to address the situation of hypocalcemia hypo calcium which means it is used to treat the low concentration of calcium which is common in oxalic poison so before moving to the options let talk about the background of parathroid so parathroid or in humans there is a gland known as parathroid gland so it is a gland in human and the main function of this gland is to secrete parathroid parathroid hormone so it is used to secrete parathroid hormone which is very important to maintain the calcium levels calcium levels in the blood so parathroid gland uh, secretes the calcium into intestine and increases the calcium concentration in blood so what does the parathroid extract do that it mimics the it mimics the effect or the hormone produced by parathroid gland so the parathroid extract is used to elevate the calcium levels by mimicking the parathroid gland so now let's select the options option first says to stimulate tissue regeneration on stomach this is wrong option second to induce vomiting this is also wrong or uh, third it produce intramuscular and option four to enhance the renal function and the correct answer for this question is option three to provide intramuscular as i already told you parathroid extracts are used to elevate the levels of calcium in the blood but they are injected intramuscularly so they are injected intramuscularly means deep in the deep in muscles and the recommended dosage for the parathroid extract is 100 units is 100 units and it must be injected intramuscularly so option 3 to provide intramuscularly medication of uh, parathroid extract is the correct answer now let's move to the question number 7 question number 7 says through which organ phenol primarily metabolized and here are the options first is liver second is kidney third is lungs and fourth is gi and the correct answer for this question is option second kidney so before moving to the next question let's talk more about the phenol metabolites and there are two major metabolites of phenol one is hydrophenone hydro quinone and second is pyrocatechol and when these two metabolites goes through oxidation oxidation when these two metabolites of phenol gets converted into carbol urea and it has a smoke green color it has a dark smoky green coloration green coloration so phenol first metabolites into hydrophenone or pyrocatechol then the oxidation of these two um metabolites get converted into carbol urea which has dark smoky green color and it is seen in the urine now let's move to the question number 8 question number 8 says what is ochronosis and here are the options option first says a condition causing pinkish discoloration of the skin option second says the bluish black discoloration of tissue option 3 says a form of jaundice seen in phenol poisoning and option 4 says a type of dermatitis that leads to profuse bleeding and the correct answer for this question is option second the bluish black discoloration of tissue so ochronosis is the bluish black discoloration of tissue and the most common tissues involved are ear cartilages ear ear cartilage and second is ocular tissue ocular tissue and one of the common ocular tissue is the cornea cornea so majorly ochronosis is seen as the pigmentation of the cornea now let's move to the question number 9 question number 9 says lethary stomach is seen in the poisoning with phenol so the correct answer for this question is phenol lethary stomach 
is seen in the case of phenol and this leathery stomach is due to the coagulation coagulation necrosis so coagulation necrosis means cell tissue death because of the stoppage of blood supply so in case of stomach there is a coagulation necrosis which leads to the formation of thick formation of thick leathery consistency in inner stomach lining so in case of still inner stomach lining inner stomach lining it is seen and this characteristic of lathering of the stomach or inner lining is due to the protein denaturation and tissue damage so the correct answer for this question is phenol now so now let's check the options option first says hydrochloric acid option second says oxalic acid and option third is the carbolic acid which is the another name of phenol so the correct answer is option third carbolic acid now let's move to the question number 10 question number 10 says what test can be used to identify the presence of phenol in urine and here are the options option first says benedict test so benedict test are used to detect reducing sugar reducing sugar and one of the common examples are aldehydes aldehydes and hydroxy ketones hydroxy ketones so option first can't be the correct answer moving to the option second option second says barefoot test and barefoot test is used uh, to detect monosaccharides monosaccharides and which are the simple sugars for example glucose fructose and galactose so they are used to test the monosaccharides so option second also will be the incorrect answer moving to the option third ferric fluoride test and this is the correct answer uh, because the phenol when reacts with FeCl ferric fluoride then it can convert it into a complex that gives purple or blue color so the correct answer for this question is option 3 ferric fluoride test and here is the reaction that represents the ferric fluoride test in which the phenol reacts with ferric fluoride and gives a ferric, uh, ferric fluoride and phenol complex along with uh, hydrochloric acid apart from this there is an, another chemical which is closely related to phenol and it is known as quisol quisol and it has a structure like this oh and ch3 so when it reacts with ferric chloride FeCl3, then it gives green color or green coloration. With that, this presentation is ended. Thank you for watching till now. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.